Hello everyone. Today we will check the TLS vulnerability of a web server. We are going to use the Apache web server for it. The best way to check the TLS vulnerability in your web application is to scan it using website ssllabs.com. You need to enter your web application URL and submit. It will generate complete report of your SSL configuration. Here you can clearly see the list of TLS protocols of your servers which are enabled and disabled. So the protocols which are vulnerable you can disable it for your web server. But sometimes your application is private. It is accessible only in your network. Then it cannot be scanned in SSL labs. Or sometimes you just cannot scan your applications blindly using third party applications because of your privacy policy or security protocols. In this case, you need to scan the application locally using installed tools. Today we will scan localhost application to check TLS vulnerability using OpenSSL commands. This is my Apache configuration file. If you see it, this is my virtual host app.localhost and here I have intentionally make it enabled for TLS version 1 protocol. So if I scan my website using OpenSSL command, it should show that TLS version 1 protocol is enabled in my web server. This is the command I am going to check. Okay, so this is going to connect app.localhost my virtual host on port 443 and it is going to check if this protocol is enabled or disabled in my web server. I am going to use h underscore client parameter here and command is open SSL. So when I run this command it looks like this protocol is not enabled for my web server. But if you see the configuration here I have enabled this protocol intentionally so it should be able to get the details of this protocol. So it means my OpenSSL client is not configured properly. If other users or hackers if they configured their, this protocol properly on their system they can exploit this vulnerability for my web server. So that's why your OpenSSL client should be configured properly. So in this case it appears that this protocol is not enabled for my web server and you might think that your web server is not vulnerable but it is not the case actually your open SSL is not properly configured that's why you are not able to get the details about this vulnerability so we will configure our open SSL client properly so first I'm going to take backup of this file I've already taken backup of this file and now I'm going to modify this file This is my OpenSSL configuration file uh, and all things related to this OpenSSL commands it depends on configuration of this file. ETC SSL is a root protected directory so I do not have permission to directly modify this file that's why I am using sudo. Now at top of this file I am going to add this line OpenSSL underscore is equal to default underscore conf. And at bottom of this file, I'm going to add this section of code. You will get this code in the description. So I'm going to add this attribute here. Now I'm going to export this environment variable. This is part of this the same file. Now if I run this command again for TLS1 vulnerability you can clearly see now this handshake is possible that's why this web server is vulnerable for TLS version 1 protocol so now if I check for version 1.1 .1, you can see it is vulnerable for TLS 1.1 .1 also so 
TLS 1 and TLS 1.1 1 .1 is deprecated protocols. Your web server should have TLS 1.2 or higher version. So I'm now I am going to add this line. So version 1 protocol should not be enabled for my web server. Now I am restarting the Apache and now I am checking again if I am able version 1 protocol if handshake is possible or not and you can see here the handshake is not possible now my web server does not support this protocol if I check 1.1 okay 1.1 you can see it is still the handshake is possible so I need to disable this protocol also for my web server I'm going to update my configuration file and here I'm going to tell TLS v 1.1 restart Apache and try again for 1.1 now you can see handshake is not possible for 1.1 so I have disabled 1.1 also for my web server so by this way you can find which of the TLS protocols are enabled for your web server or if they are vulnerable you can disable those protocols I hope this tutorial might help you thank you for watching